Hi, welcome to another day of uh, life of uh, trucking dispatcher. Uh, you guys liked the last two videos um, and uh, I decided to uh, do another one and then I may be doing more in the future. Uh, we'll see as we go. Uh, I also want to thank you for the support. Um, the, um, the comments have been awesome and uh, you guys seem to uh, like all my other videos too and that uh, encourages me to record even more. I started with one video and that was a month ago and then it exploded. I never uh, expected I never expected this kind of uh, feedback for these videos. Um, I am trying to do um, everything as I uh, everything as transparent as I can. Uh, sometimes I like to hide some um, personal information and then maybe names of my drivers. And um, I know you understand that. I also want to show you um, about this job. Um, most people don't know what's involved and then some people want to learn too uh, if they're trying to get into this kind of business. And then um, you can pick up some uh, tips and tricks. Also, what I'm going to be doing, because I get a lot of questions in my comments and uh, in my email too, and then I want to, in these videos, these kind of videos, like relaxed videos, I want to address some of those comments and questions. Uh, I'll be looking for loads, doing my uh, regular stuff, and then in the meantime, I can um, answer those, try to answer those questions as much as I know. So uh, let's start with our day. Um, it's it's um, a different, it's an unusual week because uh, we have Thanksgiving soon and then people are uh, starting uh, to get um, do plans uh, for holidays. Uh, I know I have one driver, he wants to do hunting and he's going to take a couple of weeks off. Um, and uh, it's just uh, towards the holiday season uh, it gets a little bit more complicated. You have to plan, uh, like um, all those holidays, usually you will have two or three uh, days off or even more. Uh, some people, like some own operators, will take a whole weeks off. You know, they will just um, combine them together, like Christmas and New Year's, and then they'll just stay at home. And then at that time, you know, you have to prepare uh, for that. You have to count that you're not going to be making uh, that much money and then you have to kind of uh, get ready for that, have some money saved up for your expenses. And uh, another thing is you have to plan the loads differently. You have to plan that everyone wants to get home. Um, if someone is driving, because you know you get that too, uh, some people will stay uh, on the road for um, uh, duration of the holidays. Uh, maybe they want to uh, make extra money or uh, they don't have a family and uh, they just want to stay but then you have to plan uh, like if, if Thursday uh, is a holiday for Thanksgiving and then Friday is Black Friday uh, and then most people are not uh, working on Friday too. Some people are working only half day on Wednesday and then uh, when you get to Christmas you know is it gonna be Monday or, or Tuesday, uh, New Year's Day, uh, you have to plan to give those drivers uh, a two-day trip uh, for over those holidays. Uh, my situation right now, today is Friday, and um, I have one guy in Fort Wayne that wants to leave on uh, Monday, um, and then I have one guy here in Grand Rapids, he is not sure if he's going to leave on Monday yet, he's going to let me know today, I may even call him, uh, he's Bosnian, so I'll try to, to translate to you uh, to see if he's ready. Uh, I have one guy uh, that's at home. He's waiting for the uh, test results. He went to see a doctor for something unrelated and doctor was um, <clears throat> all like, well, you know, let's take a test, see if you're okay. Then he has to wait three days and he's losing three days at home uh, just to wait for that. I think it's probably the, you know, one of those tests that uh, takes three days. And I don't want to mention any of that uh, because um, YouTube is weird as far as mentioning the name of that, you know, disease. Um, so he's waiting for the test results. Uh, if he's negative, then he can uh, start maybe today or on Monday. Uh, if he's positive, then he has to stay at home for two weeks. And, you know, that's another thing. 
and then another guy uh, he is uh, delivering today in Indiana he's coming home from there and uh, now he's late for the delivery and then hopefully they will take him uh, because he um, has to deliver today and then go home uh, it's it's a weekend and hopefully they'll take him and then um, so he can go home uh, but let's post our truck for um, Monday out of uh, for Monday out of Fort Wayne Indiana so here in uh, that board it's weird like if you uh, if you do Fort Wayne uh, it always gives you that um, sh like shortcut you know like abbreviate to so if you start typing for Twain then it will be better and then if he wants if he wants to go to New York or Pennsylvania only you can uh, do um, <clears throat> states uh, like NYPA uh, but then they have zones um, like Z0, Z1 you see like Z2 you can do all those zones or you can do only one zone like Z1 and then and here we are gonna do the weight and the length of the trailer and then you post it and then if you post Z1 then it's all uh, East Coast like you know you see New York Pennsylvania um, there should be more Delaware it's 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 uh, like uh, four or five states over there on the East Coast. That's Z1, uh, but I'm just gonna change that because he doesn't want to go to those states. NYPA. Um, now, yeah, sometimes this uh, DAT board is just uh, acting funny lately. You know, you pay so much money because the subscription that I have uh, is hundred and fifty dollars a month for uh, only one dispatcher. Uh, so it's not uh, it's not exactly cheap but then they uh, sometimes it's down you know for hours and you can't log in you can't use it but I, I recommend that you get this option because um, this option like if you go to uh, I think it's called truckers edge uh, the uh, DAT board then um, that's uh, less money. It's like thirty-five, maybe forty dollars, but it's not live. You have to refresh uh, your posting every time, and then if you have uh, more postings, you know, more trucks, then you have to post them separately. You know, uh, you have to. Uh, I think you have to delete the, the one you have and then make another. You can't have more than one posting at the same time. I think in that board you can have. Uh, this uh, power that board you can have as many postings as you want at same time let me show you so let's say this guy is in Fort Wayne and he prefers to go to Buffalo so I'm gonna have one posting for Buffalo too okay so I could do radius you know 100 miles to pick up 150 to delivery and uh, you can just switch between those postings and then you can do another posting for him uh, you can do Let's see like this one I okay um, let's say Harrisburg Pennsylvania and you can switch between between these postings uh, you know like and then see w w whatever comes up uh, you know and NY and PA will cover all this these two uh, but it's just easier if you have this target area uh, where you uh, where he likes to go and then you can you know we can post our guy for uh, Grand Rapids here for Monday even though he hasn't told me yet if he is going to uh, be leaving but I just want to see what's out there and then keep in mind that these uh, postings brokers can see them so that's why it's called um, post trucks now uh, I hope to uh, make a video in future just about that board or DAT board you know whatever you like to call it I'm used to that board uh, even though it might it might not be correct because the people from uh, that board they call it DAT uh, so the difference is like if you go to search loads here uh, and then you want to uh, look for the guy that we have in Fort Wayne to New York Pennsylvania uh, brokers cannot see this uh, 
So let me see, 150. Only you can see this. So if you, for some reason, don't don't want to uh, bro don't want brokers to see your posted truck. You know, you only are just looking for loads for your information and um, trying to see what's in the area. Like it, it's not a reload. You know, so they don't call you. If if they see a posted trucks, they will call you and uh, offer you a load. But you actually don't have a load. <clears throat> And then here, uh, it, what's different, you can um, change some of these uh, settings here, you know. So, like, the, the, this is cool, you know, like MC number, because they go um, by, uh, they go up um, when, when they form them. So, like, everything that's uh, below six digits right now is a somewhat uh, an older established company. Everything that's um, above six digits you know starts with one usually and it has seven digits like my company now because it's only 10 months or almost 12 months old now um, so if you don't want to work with a new authority you know new broker uh, you would just um, go here less than and then you know you can uh, pick your brokers that you want to work with or pick the brokers that you don't want to see so that's the difference here um, and but I always 99.9% uh, .9 of the time I uh, go to uh, post trucks and then you have this alarm here I used to ha uh, have this set uh, when I first started and then it would just ring and ring and ring and sometimes it's annoying uh, but it will uh, remind you it will tell you that there is a load because if you're doing something else then uh, the alarm uh, will um, notify you that there is a load and then you go here and it changes color too uh, but lately for me uh, these alarms uh, see now it works sometimes they don't work you know and you just uh, um, turn this on and, and it doesn't work but uh, sometimes it's annoying so I just turn it off uh, what's nice another thing here just want to show you real quick search trucks okay so this is um you know brokers could use this um for them to search available trucks but you as a trucking company um like you want to see like we we have this guy in grand rapids on monday so you want to see uh how many other uh trucks trucking companies are posting their trucks you know, like to kind of look at the competition, see what they are looking for. Uh, there are there are different ways here to, to do that, like uh, market uh, and all that. Uh, we, we can talk about that when we uh, get to that uh, DAT uh, instructional video. But right now, like if you uh, search for trucks, <clears throat> you can see, um, like uh, from Monday, we only have uh, six trucks posted here in Grand Rapids uh, and uh, I only know one of these companies uh, like this is uh, from Elka probably out of Indiana uh, like this see like this company they want to uh, go to Philadelphia and deliver same uh, the next day um, and then this company, you know, they want, they can go to all these, like, see how they posted these southern states. And then they have the zones too, you know. So they probably uh, wanted to avoid, because they have, they wanted to avoid Florida, you know. That's why they didn't post the zone. But they only posted these states here too. But yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm going to delete this and then just go to our uh, postings and then maybe... Uh, find some loads so here in Fort Wayne let's uh, see what we have for New York and Pennsylvania and then you can um, sort them out so first uh, I only want a full load okay and then second um, my guy likes light loads he likes good paying loads who doesn't uh, he doesn't like to go too far for the pickup so the first thing we're going to be looking, uh, we're going to sort them by deadhead. So we're going to uh, see what's the closest to him because he's right there in Fort Wayne. Like you see, uh, there are not that many laws that are very close. Um, 
So this load, uh, Shippensburg, uh, we don't want to go there. Uh, it's I-76, that's a lot of tolls. Uh, let me show you. Like if you go to Fort Wayne, Indiana, to Shippensburg, I already have someone calling me. Dispatch. You still work on the Fort Wayne, Indiana truck for Monday? I am. I got a load picking up in Angola, Indiana at 3 p.m. Trying to get it over to Barclay, Maryland on Wednesday. Okay. I'll take two dry. We got a lot of money into this load so you can make some money. Yeah, no, this guy is very specific. He, he wouldn't want to go to Maryland at all. Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks, bye. Yeah, so this load is not good, goes back, uh, picks up at 3 p.m., uh, it's late pickup and uh, goes to Maryland and he doesn't want to go to Maryland. Now, so this Fort Wayne uh, to Shippensburg, okay? So if you go here, this is all tall, but then from here, uh, it's even more tall, okay? So this is a lot of tall, um, you know, they have some hills here, they're not too bad, but it's mountains. <clears throat> so uh, he would probably pay like uh, maybe almost $200 for tolls here. And, um, and then it's hard to get off uh, here. Uh, they have a couple of exits here. And then I think trucks can go this way, you know. But um, if you want to avoid tolls, see this is 485 miles. If you want to avoid tolls, you would go here to State College and then Harrisburg. And this is how you can avoid tolls and it's 550 miles. So it's uh, uh, much, much uh, longer to get there. Um, and then from here, it's also gonna be hard to find a load. So let's go back to our posting. We have Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh downtown is bad. Uh, sometimes they have these loads posted to Pittsburgh, but um, they actually don't go to Pittsburgh. They go to outskirts of Pittsburgh. And I always ask that. Uh, like see if the load goes here in downtown it's a uh, high you don't go there you know or even here this area is not that great uh, like here this island here you know here in Imperial they are Gordon F Gordon Foods and then here this this here uh, is an okay area but uh, downtown and south of downtown is bad so we don't uh, like to go to Pittsburgh uh, let me see what else we have. Uh, York is also down by there by Shippensburg. It's probably this, uh, probably not. Uh, Landstar can be tricky, so sometimes I try to avoid Landstar. Uh, Napoleon to Reading. Napoleon, they have a Campbell soup plant, and most people don't like to go there. But this here, like this here, is light, so it might not be Campbell soup. But either way. Uh, Lima, Ohio, they have uh, oil and uh, other companies in Lima, so I don't like any of these here. So let's just go to 422 Buffalo, see what we have. Uh, like this here might be interesting, Sturgis, because it's only 60 miles from 420, it's north, it's right there when you enter Michigan, and then goes to, no to Nawanda, that's Buffalo area. And the load is the load is not heavy. Load Thursday or Friday. Oh my God! Well, it it still shows me. Uh, I didn't even see it. It just still shows me Friday, even though I uh, rolled it over. You know, I rolled it over to to the fifteenth. Huh? I'm just gonna delete this and then uh, make a, a new posting. Fort Wayne to Buffalo. For Monday. Let me see. Well, while this is loading, we can uh, go to our Harrisburg here and see if we have anything to Harrisburg. I'm just going to do the dead head first. Uh, 
I don't see anything interesting that he might like. Let me see if this is, is loaded. Um, yeah, this, there is nothing from um, Monday yet. Let me see about Grand Rapids, what we have out of Grand Rapids here for Monday. Uh, this is probably, this would work, but this is probably paper. Uh, this guy is very specific. He only likes to go to Buffalo, Rochester, maybe Syracuse, and then uh, Pittsburgh area, Erie, Pennsylvania. He wouldn't want to go to Taylor. This here Stanwood, this is water. Uh, when we see Stanwood, uh, we know it's water, and uh, most people from here don't want to do water, uh, not just because it's heavy, but it takes a long time to load. Um, but then sometimes these brokers get... Uh, Creative and then posted out of uh, neighboring cities and uh, and then when you call the and they say it's stand with you know uh, Yeah, that's Like this here this load we sometimes do that, but um, uh, Schneider does not pay well uh, CH Robinson pays better for this load uh, so I can ask my guy uh, on chat because we we do G G chat I think they call it something else now, uh, just to see. Any loads out of Hart, Michigan to Geneva, New York for Monday. Let's see what he answers. In the meantime, uh, this guy from Arrive texted me uh, and he asked me if we need anything for today or next week. I'm just gonna tell him I have a four twin guy. Yeah, and then this my guy from C. Robinson, he says he didn't get any of these loads. No problem, thanks. You know, once you um, establish your contacts, you know, once you uh, start working for a few months, then uh, you, you'll have someone. Uh, we like to use this uh, G-chat on Gmail and uh, some brokers like that too. And it's very easy, like you see a load posted somewhere, um, and then you just uh, send them a message, you know, like the load number, and they will tell you right away what it is. You don't have to call anyone. Uh, you don't have to uh, try to, you know, get through to someone. This is much, much easier. And then you can do other stuff while you're chatting. So if you can get any contacts on your email, on Gchat, uh, or on text, you know, with a cell phone, that, that would be cool, you know, because like even when you're out, you're not in the office or, or at home working, you uh, go out and then they can text you or, or chat with you and then offer you load. I mean, I can't, I can't count how many uh, times I booked a load in my car. Uh, like they would call me or I'm waiting somewhere on the parking lot for, uh, for something and then I, I take a quick look at the loads uh, uh, and then I just uh, call them up and... Uh, <clears throat> book a lot and I love that you know that that's really uh, great so I'm gonna call my guy on uh, for um, Monday and he's Bosnian and I'm gonna tell him because he, he knows that I'm doing these videos he's actually my brother so I'm just gonna see uh, if he found out anything from Monday he's working on his deck um, I want to uh, get one of those action cameras and then he agreed to put it in his truck and maybe record a video of a uh, day in the life of a truck driver and then uh, we can, you know, he can record for a few days or, or a couple of weeks and then we can uh, make a small video uh, about that so you can see that too. And then I have a guy, I'm going to call this guy that's going to be a little bit late and uh, talk to him about his plans. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing, Ennis? Good. Are, can you hear me? Because you're, you're on speaker here and uh, it's just... Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Cool. Um, so, like I said, I haven't contacted them. Because sometimes, like, we do, if you tell the broker, then they try to change the appointment and then they say, well, they didn't have anything for today. So... I, I read some reviews for these guys and, and they say that they're okay. So even though you're, you're going to be late, I think you should be fine. Okay. Okay. Back to work. Now, 
Uh, I'm gonna uh, take a quick glance to see what loads are available for next week if we should call something and then we'll uh, yeah I don't see anything that's worth calling right now um, well here's uh, my brother he um, I was gonna ask him for uh, Monday hi never stop trucking here Ona je zovim te za ponedak da vidim onaj... Znači u četiri sata. Tek u četiri? Je. Ok, dobro. Znam, znam, onaj, hoću sam da vidim i oču uopšte gledati ili neću nikako da... Ok, dobro, u redu je. Jo, ok. Ajde. Ok, he won't know until 4 p.m. today and today is Friday, so uh, might as well just delete the posting for him for Monday because uh, he doesn't even know if he's going to go out yet. Uh, we have this four twin and I'm waiting for the guy that uh, is waiting for the tests to come see if he is okay, if he can run maybe today or maybe next week um, now let's go to your questions here and like i said thank you for this feedback it's it's been uh, amazing and really unexpected um, and uh, a lot of uh, guys subscribed and in any video that i post uh, it's just um, i have another channel um, for uh, diy and then whenever I do something around my home, I uh, post that video. Uh, but th that channel is growing slow. Uh, I've had it for a few years. And uh, sometimes, like, uh, I don't post for a few months. And then sometimes I post every week. So uh, because it's DIY and then everything I do is usually in summer, uh, people look for the, uh, those videos in summer. And then I have a lot of views in summer. Then in, it, in winter just gets slow. But nowhere near this, uh, like the way this is growing, this channel, and it only has few videos, and I've, I've been doing it for a month only, it's just amazing. Um, <clears throat> so, and it, uh, it encourages me to do more. Okay, uh, let's see uh, about first question here. Uh, great informative video, thank you. Please let me know how to get a first truck and also broker. If the broker is not good and doesn't pay, Will our insurance cover that? Uh, same way, if the trucker does not deliver properly, uh, will the insurance cover the product cost? Okay, so how to get first truck? Uh, I think uh, he means uh, it, um, not how to buy your own truck, but how to get uh, first truck to work for you like an owner operator. Um, well, like I said, I want to do a video uh, specifically on that, but you can go to FMCSA website uh, they have this safer uh, dot, uh, let me do that here, safer and then if you look for a company um, like here you have to have an exact name, I'm just gonna try this A okay so like all these are all the companies uh, that start uh, with letter A. Uh, they have some numbers here too. But if you click on the company, um, see here, power units one. This is um, an owner operator for sure. It's only one truck. And then you can see uh, they're active. Um, the name of the company, drivers one, and. Uh, on some of these websites, they will have their uh, phone numbers, uh, not here, but uh, like Five Star Beef. And they are out of, uh, let me see, does it say the state here? And you, here you can kind of see about him, like uh, he's, uh, you know, good driver, nothing out of service, you know, his scores are good zero zero that that's really good uh, no accidents so this is a good driver and then if you uh, google five star beef five star beef 
Uh, let me see. Let me try uh, tracking. Okay, like right here, you see like quick transport solutions, partner care tracking database, it all comes up. Um, so yeah, he's from Wisconsin, like it says right here. And then sometimes you could see like, here's the phone number. And then you call up that number and then you talk to him. And like I said, I wanted to make a video about that. Um, how to talk, uh, how to ask owner operators to join you. But yeah, that's basically it. Just uh, uh, go here and then, you know, start looking. Let's, let's find another one. See one. I mean, another owner operator. Okay. And then, you know, look at the scores. Good, good, good. Zero, zero. That's good. And then call them up and then look it up uh, again. Uh, D, D, B, and M, all sub and sons. So we're going to look for that and click here. See if we have, yeah, here's a phone number call them. Um, okay. Uh, broker. Brokers will come, um, you know, as soon as you start posting on uh, uh, boards, then uh, brokers will come. You will establish a, rela a relationship. You can't do it right away, but within a few months, you'll have few established relations uh, as long as you're honest and you know what you're doing. And uh, uh, they see that, um, you are a good company and they will work with you. Uh, getting brokers is not hard. If the broker is, is not good and doesn't pay, will our insurance cover that? No, they will not. Uh, if the broker is, uh, well, let me show you. You go to broker credit check and then um, uh, look them up here. <clears throat> Let's do TQL because they're, they're, uh, everyone knows them. So uh, search, well, we're gonna do total quality. Total mm. Okay, so yeah, 29 days to pay. Uh, this is a free service, brokercreditchecks.com. Okay, that's the address. And then you can see if they're paying. Uh, if they're not paying, don't work with them. Uh, if, if it says here that they're paying, but they still don't pay, um, the only thing you can do is uh, call them up, keep bothering them. Um, see what's wrong. Uh, if they don't pay after a few months, then you can um, post um, a claim against their bond. Um, uh, you have that information in the packet they send you. That's when you where you see their, the bond. Um, you don't expect to get all the money back. You'll get maybe a portion of it uh, if you if you do that. So it's not really, you know, great way to get your money back. But le at least you might get something. And then, you know, don't work with them anymore. Leave them a bad review on a DAT board, on Google, Facebook, uh, leave them bad reviews so uh, other people will know. And then if, when they see a bad review, they might even contact you and say, hey, you know, well, let's work this out. <laughs> so that, that's the only thing you can do. But insurance will not cover that. Same way if the trucker does, doesn't deliver properly, uh, will the insurance cover the product cost? Well, what does uh, doesn't deliver properly mean? Um, like if, if they're missing something, uh, you know, the, tr uh, the trailer was sealed and locked or, uh, or at least sealed. And if they're missing something, uh, they, they usually write it on a, a bill of lading. And then the driver has to contact you and, uh, you know, take a picture and tell you what's missing. If the product is damaged, uh, like when they were loading it or unloading it, it was damaged already. Driver should take a picture, send it to you, contact you immediately, and then you will contact the broker and tell them, uh, here's the bill of lading, this is what's missing, this is what's damaged, how do we proceed? Usually it will be okay. Um, most of the time it will be okay. Uh, only if somehow they uh, think it's driver's fault, and sometimes they do try to uh, blame it on, on the driver, like uh, the driver was breaking too hard and then the product moved. Well, you know, when you loaded the load, you should have uh, put all the pallets together, maybe uh, put the cushions between them if, if you think the pallets will move. Uh, the only thing that the driver has to do is like, uh, if they let him, 
uh, watch while they're loading and then see if they're loading correctly and then uh, put a couple of straps in the back. But that's pretty much what the driver can do. Uh, if the driver uh, brakes hard, then it's not because he wanted to break up because he wanted to avoid an accident. So that's a stupid reason, uh, stupid way to blame a, a driver uh, if the load was damaged because you uh, as a shipper did not load it correctly. Uh, but sometimes they try to do that. I had that before. Uh, so the insurance will cover that uh, to answer your question. If there's a claim, uh, usually you have a deductible. Uh, usually it's like $1,000 for most companies. That's what most companies go with. So if it's something less than $1,000, then you have to pay out of your pocket. <clears throat> if you're going to charge a driver, that's on you. Um, you know, I don't know what to tell you about that. That, that You have to figure that out. Um, you know, if you want to keep the driver, if the driver is really at fault, if the driver does it all the time, if the driver is safe, and you know, this is unlike, well, just eat the cost. I've done it myself and pay out of your pocket. Uh, it's your deductible. It's the risk of doing the business. But if it's more the, uh, than thousand dollars, the insurance will cover the difference. You know, whatever is more than one thousand dollars, they will cover the difference. Uh, but then you'll have a claim uh, on your policy, and the next time you renew, you know, they're going to be like, oh yeah, you had this claim. You know, well that's why we have insurance. You know, uh, but uh, you know, you have to take into account all of that. You know. Do you want do you want your insurance to rise even if it's uh, over thousand dollars if it's two thousand dollars do you want to pay it yourself uh, not involve insurance because your insurance might uh, uh, go up next year or like um, another carrier another insurance will not work for you when it's time for renewal just because of that one claim so you have to think about all of that if you're gonna pay for it now to save money down the road uh, that's what I would do. Um, when we start with a broker, the very first time we need to get their bond details and keep it with us. Yes, uh, usually you'll get um, a packet from the broker and uh, the bond will be in that packet. Sometimes they have these services uh, like my packet, something, um, RMIS2. Um, when you do it online, you don't see it sometimes, but you can request it from them. Uh, also, if you don't get it, it should be easy to get it um, uh, to look it up, uh, you know, uh, you can uh, find who their bond is. Uh, like if you go to DAT board and uh, you can see who the carrier is. Like, let's see, like these guys here. So if you go to DAT board and uh, like they have the, uh, all their um, information here, you know, you can call them up, ask them for the bond. And then you have their insurance, like see it bond right here. This is their bond. <clears throat> this is their insurance. And then you uh, you call them up. You know, you, you Google them, call them up and uh, uh, see, ask them how to file a claim against their bond for that broker. So that's how you do it. Please recommend any insurance company for the dispatcher. Uh, for the dispatching service, I don't know about that. I don't know if there's such such an insurance. That's something that I have to look into myself. If you have to have insurance, if uh, if they uh, the insurance knows what it is, if they do that. Um, what other documents we need to keep as a dispatcher other than insurance? You mentioned DOT. We need to get this. Please advise. Uh, if you're uh, only doing dispatching, you don't need to have DOT number. Uh, you can uh, dispatch without that. Only if you uh, want to have trucks running under your own authority and dispatch them like that, then you need a DOT number. Uh, let's see. Dispatch. Dispatch. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll do one more question here uh, because I think it's going to take a lot of time to answer these. I might do another video just for the questions uh, because this will 
take a lot of time as as you can see I like to talk and when I talk then time flies can you do a video on your setup and how much it costs um, I can I was thinking about that but then I don't want to uh, to look like as if I'm uh, bragging you know flexing um, maybe I'll do a video about that uh, I mean it's different you know what you need what's essential and what you want and what you know you have set up to make it function for you uh, make it look cool um, I, I like this kind of stuff and um, now that I'm by myself you know I uh, really um, want to invest in uh, equipment like this I want it to look nice you know like even these uh, tiles here I did them before I started uh, doing these videos just just so I can have something that looks nice um, I may, may add more you know even the lights you know uh, but now it just came in handy just you know to, as, as a, the background for my videos and then this monitor it's a 49 inch monitor <clears throat> that I have and you don't need that you can have one a cheap monitor I, I advise you get two um, and um, at least and a printer you know but since you know this guy is asking you know I might do um, another like how much this cost like the the monitor was about uh, eight nine hundred dollars uh, but it's a 49 inch uh, wide you know like curved and uh, you can do two windows you know like you can do two tabs you can do three even three tabs and then just you know separate them so it, it will serve as, as a, uh, two monitors or, or one and it's also nice for me when I um, um, edit my videos I can have you know a long you know a line here for for my you know audio and then for the footage and then I can you know take a look at it and it's also nice for gaming even though I don't do gaming you know my kids like to do that so <clears throat> uh, but the iMac here um, I, I got the smaller version this is a 21 inch um, and um, on this uh, iMac you can connect additional two monitors and this is you know all in one computer and I like these um, Apple computers because they're fast and um, I, I do a lot of video editing and uh, uh, like I use Final Cut Pro X and that's that's the one I like the most uh, and that's why I use it but then I connect this to that uh, this smaller one is about like um, 12 to, to 1600 depending on how fast it is you know the the 27 inch is bigger one uh, that's a little bit more expensive but this is like uh, 1200 and then this is like 89 so that's 2000 um, and then I have this uh, desk uh, that you can uh, you know raise okay and then you can uh, program it so sometimes I would uh, you know get up to stretch my legs and um, I, I just like um, I memorized this like I said it to one okay so that's the height that I like and this this desk is really cool uh, it's uh, they have this like the plastic wrap around it and it's really high quality it's a professional it's it's you have to order it I I ordered it from Oregon uh, and uh, but I think it will last for for years to come you know this desk is really good uh, so that's what I have. I have a, a brother a printer, you know, uh, make sure we go you go with laser printer uh, because that's the, um, the car cartridge is the most affordable and it will last you for a long time. Uh, and, uh, you know, for Macs, you, you get the nice mouse and uh, the keyboard. Sometimes I use the keyboard for editing uh, because you can use the shortcuts uh, with this gaming keyboard. Um, you you can't do shortcuts because this is uh, meant for uh, Windows um, 
computer, but I use it here because I like the way, like when you type, you know, you can see the, these, the sounds, and then uh, it's just um, easier for me to type on this, and then, you know, they have the, the cushion. Uh, so, uh, but like I said, you don't need any of this, you know, you can just start with, uh, re you know, decent computer and a monitor, then that would, would be enough to start. And then down the road, when you make some money, just do whatever pleases you, whatever you're into. You know, I've seen uh, companies that have been around for, you know, 10, 15 years, and they still have these uh, small desks and, and small uh, outdated monitors with, you know, the colors. And, <laughs> you know, if that works for them, you know, that that's cool. But I, I like to, you know, like when I do things on my computer, I like to in, enjoy it too. I like to be able to, you know, watch a video in high quality or edit a video and, you know, have a fast computer that's going to be responsive. So that's, that's what I like. Let me see if we can call some loads. So yeah, this video turned out not to be, I, I knew that I wasn't going to be that busy, but I knew I wanted to post some loads for Monday. Uh, but, you know, we talked about um, loads and then drivers, and uh, you heard me talking to, to brokers a few times. It wasn't as much as I hoped it would be, but then I was able to address some of these questions. Uh, so that's that's a bonus but yeah I don't really see anything for um, any of these guys so might as well call it a day and then hopefully I can do another one soon another video uh, like this where I'm more busy um, but yeah I I, uh, I hope you will um, like the video and then subscribe and then also I have this um, email uh, sign up link in the description and if you want to sign up for emails and then I, I can email you updates, you know, whenever I have new videos or, or something new that I'm working on, I can, I, I promise I won't bother you much, maybe once a week. Um, so yeah, I'll see you around and um, have a nice day.